today's world where every property is subject to potential environmental risks, a Phase 1 Environmental Site Assessment, or ESA, can help determine whether a property may have been contaminated by current or previous activities. An ESA can protect the purchaser of a property and limit his or her liability by discovering environmental concerns prior to the purchase of a property. Lenders also commonly require an ESA because it helps evaluate if environmental risks could devalue the property or impact a borrower's finances. The Phase 1 process includes three main components. The site inspection is a thorough visual assessment of the property, including the interior of any structures, exterior areas, and property lines. The inspection can identify current or prior on-site activities that may have contributed contamination to the soil or groundwater. The inspection also includes observing adjacent and nearby properties. Environmentally sensitive operations can include gas stations, dry cleaners, industrial facilities, residential heating oil tanks, and illegal dumping at abandoned properties. Regulatory records may reveal known releases of hazardous substances at or near the property or risky activities such as hazardous materials handling. Historical records illuminate a property's history and whether previous uses could have contaminated the site. For example, a property might currently be a restaurant with no environmental concerns, but 40 years ago it could have been an auto repair shop with an underground storage tank and potential contamination. Current or former owners, property managers, or tenants often have the most first-hand knowledge of a property's history and can provide crucial insights. But as interviewees may not have complete or accurate information, interviews must be weighed carefully and supporting documentation is often required. Because the Phase 1 ESA focuses on hazardous substance or petroleum contamination, it may not include evaluations of asbestos or lead paint in older buildings, mold or water intrusion problems, or radon gas levels. Many consultants may identify a potential concern for these items and further testing can be performed. The Phase 1 ESA must be conducted by or under the supervision of an Environmental Professional, or EP, who is qualified through specific education and experience requirements. Data and conclusions are detailed in the Phase 1 ESA report, which also should offer recommendations to address any identified concerns. A common next step is a Phase 2 environmental site assessment that would involve soil, soil gas, or groundwater testing for contamination. Partner Engineering and Science specializes in Phase 1 ESAs. Our professionals have been doing Phase 1s for over 20 years and are ready to answer your questions and guide you through the process. For more information, please give us a call at 1-800-419-4923 or visit our website, partneresi.com.